Ashes of Creations Alpha 2 begins on October 25th, 2024, and for the first time in years, players will be able to step into the world of Vera with no NDA, allowing them to test and explore this highly anticipated game, broadcasting it to their friends, their families, their mothers, their grandmothers, whoever watches their videos, you know, whatever, whatever works for you. And there will be tons of content to broadcast as we've seen by that phase one roadmap. And by the end of phase one, we can expect players to come across three different world bosses within this beginning of Vera that we are about to explore. These world bosses include Tumok the Wretched, who is this giant wandering cyclops, Firebrand the Dragon, and the mysterious scorpion boss currently unnamed which I am calling Scorpy the Scorpion until we learn more. Like everything in Alpha 2, Intrepid will be looking for feedback on these challenging encounters as players take them on to earn end game gear and crafting components. And by end game I mean level 25 because that is the planned level for the start of Alpha 2, and it's not really the true end game, but it's going to be the end game for the beginning of this testing phase. For Tumok the Wretched, Tumok the Wretched is a wandering world boss that you probably will encounter at some point roaming the Riverlands during your adventures, so you want to be cautious as he'll likely crush you if you're alone. Tumok is intended to be one of the first raid bosses players encounter, serving as an introductory boss to raiding with relatively simple mechanics. These mechanics in phase one of the fight include things such as stomp, charge, a trunk slam, a fungus heal that regenerates Tumok's health, fungus spew where he throws up mushrooms at players, and he has the ability to summon spirit wolves as adds for players to take on in the fight. Phase 2 will begin during this fight when Tumok places his tree on the ground, spawning healing caps that need to be destroyed before they fully grow, otherwise they allow Tumok to regain more of his health, and players will also need to destroy his totem while focusing on these mushrooms, which shoots out tendrils that slow players and deal damage. Once the totem is down, Phase 3 begins, and at this point, point, Tumok is pretty pissed off that you destroyed his tree, and he becomes enraged dealing damage at a faster rate, and he also gains a jump and slam mechanic, so DPS will really need to burn him down as quickly as possible. Tumok, upon his defeat, has been seen dropping various weapons such as a longbow, a mace, a shortbow, and a sword. Firebrand the Dragon Firebrand is the Alpha 2 endgame boss that drops the highest tier of loot for the beginning of testing, including items like a shield, the Ember Blade, which is a sword, the Cinder Saner, and the Corrupted Breastplate. Firebrand's attacks include Claw Attacks, an AoE Tail Swipe, a Ground Slam ability that deals AoE damage, a Fire Slam ability which is similar to the Ground Slam but also inflicts burning on random players, Scream which applies a debuff that creates a flame patch at the player's feet upon expiration, Line of Fire which has Firebrand scorching the ground in a line in whichever direction he's facing, dealing heavy damage, Flame Circles which create circles of fire that expand and explode, dealing massive damage to those inside the circles, Flame Breath where Fire Brand jumps back and breathes fire in a 180 degree cone towards the largest group of players, and meteors which rain down and spawn flame minions, and these flame minions can then be absorbed if not killed promptly. Firebrand appears to be a boss that is really meant to keep you on your toes as you manage movement, watch your distance from other players, and eliminate minions to prevent Firebrand from growing stronger. Squirpy the Scorpion Squirpy the Scorpion is the one world boss that we know the least amount in terms of mechanics, and really the only thing we've seen of him is from the Desert Preview trailer. Steven confirmed in the last livestream that the Scorpion is intended to be the third world boss from the Phase 1 roadmap, and we know he resides in the Sand Squall Desert, which is going to be a lawless zone at the beginning of Phase 1, where players will not be penalized by the corruption system and will be auto-flagged for PvP as they go out there to try and capture some high-end resources and materials for that endgame craft experience while simulating the open seas of the naval content that is expected to come later in phase 3. Having all these players out here exploring and PvPing will definitely make taking down Scorpy a bit of a challenge because not only are you going to have to deal with the world boss himself, but you're going to have to deal with players fighting with no consequences to gain those endgame materials. Difficulty wise, if Tumok is said to be the easiest boss fight and Firebrand is said to be the highest tier boss fight, well then you can expect Scorpy the Scorpion to be somewhere in the middle. If the Scorpion we saw in the desert reveal was indeed Scorpy, 
Scorpy? Well, then we might see mechanics involving baby scorpions as well. Also, being a scorpion, I'd probably expect some sort of poison-like mechanics tied into him as well. As Ashes of Creation progresses towards its full release, we can expect to see additional mechanics implemented surrounding world bosses, which could include things like scaling difficulty based on the number of players in the area, dynamic spawn conditions, and interactions with the world such as attacking node or influencing seasonal changes. World bosses may also be crucial components to story arc systems and regional events, needing you to take on these bosses to progress your server's story further. These three world bosses should give players plenty to aim for as we head into Alpha 2, challenging players and guilds to gear up and test their limit. But remember, these encounters are all work in progress, and Intrepid will be eager to hear your feedback to make these fights as engaging and fun as possible while still being challenging. So make sure you give that feedback when Alpha 2 finally begins. And speaking of guilds taking down world bosses, you won't be able to take down these guys alone, so if you don't have a guild, well, you know where to look.